What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you the difference between thin and wide lapels. What's up guys? Welcome back to Gen Slunch. I'm George. If you have not hit that subscribe button yet, please hit that right now. We are here every week talking about men's fashion, lifestyle, and everything in between. And today I'm going to show you the difference between wide lapels and thin lapels. So as you can see, today we have the exact same suit. The only thing that is different is the lapels on the jacket. It is tailored the exact same way, but the lapels are wider on this one and thinner on this one. So once again, thank you to Indochino for doing this for us and letting us use this as an example. But basically today, I'm gonna tell you the differences, you know, and what to look for if you want this wide lapel look or if you want a thin lapel look based on, you know, your body type, your size, um, the style you are going for even. And um, yeah, let's get started. So basically what everyone will tell you is that if you have broad shoulders and a thinner waist, you should have wider lapels. And if you are a thinner, skinnier guy, you should have thin lapels. Now guys, that is not necessarily the case. It is a good general rule to go by if you are just starting out and you know getting into more tailored clothing. But if you guys have found a tailor and you know how you like your things to fit, I do think a wide lapel can work for any body type, it just needs to be tailored properly. Like if you have a wide lapel and just kind of a, a boxy, thin, thin suit, unless you're going for that specific style and you really, really understand what you're doing, I do think it is better to have a very, very tailored option so you have that kind of upside down triangle look where your shoulders look a little wider, tapers at the waist, and you just kind of have that good masculine look. Now. Guys, if you are new to fashion and you are a thinner guy, highly recommend going with thinner lapels, not necessarily like one to one and a half inch. You still want some sort of substance. I would say two inches is a good, a good minimum. 2.5 is probably the average where you'll be safe no matter what body type you have. And anything above three inch lapels is going to be a more bold statement to you. So today I have the exact same suit with two different lapels and I'm gonna show you what a big difference just, you know, two inches of lapel width makes in the overall look of a suit. Guys, I mean, to me, it, it looks night and day. To you, it may not look that drastic. Leave me a comment down below if you can tell the difference and which one you prefer. So before we wrap this up, I just wanna give you some general suit knowledge. Basically, the wider your lapels, the wider your tie needs to be. So if you have three inch lapels, find a three inch tie. If you have two inch lapels, find a two inch tie. The thinner your lapels, the thinner your tie should be just so it looks proportional. And for the most part, I think a lot of people don't think they can wear wide ties because they have only suits that have two inch lapels. So wide ties look a little funky when your lapels are a little thinner, but the wider your lapels go, the wider your ties need to be just to kind of proportion everything out. Another thing to think about is your shirt collar. If you are buttoning up your shirt and like that kind of streamlined classic, classic look. I like a spread collar and I like the spread of the collar to match right where the notch of the peak kind of ends. And this is good for either a notch or a peak lapel, but if your spread collar comes across and fits right here perfectly, it's just a good symmetrical, everything just looks on point. So that pretty much wraps up the video. I hope this was interesting. I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments below which lapel you prefer wide or thin and if it does make that big of a difference to you. I hope this was interesting. Remember guys, wider the lapel, wider the tie. If you want that stream streamline look, I think a spread collar that points right to the notches or the peaks in the lapels is a very, very powerful look that you're going to love. And once again, thank you to Indochino for sending these over so we can use this as an example. I will have a link to them down below. If you have not hit that subscribe button yet, please do that right now and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys.